Okay, so we are back and ready to continue the Sim Settlements 2 quest line. Uh, in between, I have gone around and promoted the main quest a little bit. Um, not really, though. I just did the uh, Preston's introductory piece. So I did the Corvega plant. I've also gone around and explored the local up through the north of Lexington. Uh, so that's improved us to level 14. I have picked up science, uh, which I will continue to pick up. I do need to still get local leader. Uh, looks like I can get both. Uh, but I've mostly been focused on uh, damage to make things go a little smoother. So we will be continuing on and talking with our new friend here. Excuse me. Oh, hey there. Didn't expect to be seeing you again. Is something up? It's not the A-Sams, is it? Anything been happening around here? Since you helped get rid of those raiders, things have been fairly quiet here. Just the way I like it. But I doubt you came all this way just to ask for that. I assume something is wrong with the ASAMs. Ooh, working on something important. Oh, this? Just a side project of mine. With a few modifications, might be a useful compliment to the ASAMs. That's why I'm here. Ah, uh, so it is the sensors that bring you here. Look, I'll tell you the same thing I told the others. I know it may seem confusing. But trust me, just stick with it. Keep building with them, and provide your people with proper supervision. Eventually, it'll all make sense. The others? You're not the first to make use of the sensors. I've provided a fair few to other folk as well. However, most seem at a loss what to do with them. What do you mean by proper supervision? ASAMs are easy enough to use, but sometimes you literally need to tell someone to use them. It's as if people need verbal permission to improve their lives or something. What else do you have? What else? Are you saying the sensors aren't enough for you? <laughs> well, that's a first. Most people complain ASAMs are too complicated. No one's ever asked for more. I'm starting to get the feeling you're not exactly like most people, are you? All right, darling, consider me curious. What's your story? Like for starters, that pit boy on your wrist. I bet there's a tale behind that. Why do you ask? It's not every day someone trips over a pit boy. Heck, yeah, took me years to find mine. So where'd you get yours? What do you know about vault Tech? vault Tech? I suppose I know a little bit about him. But considering that pit boy you got there, you may know a lot more than I do. Where'd you even find one in such crazy good condition? It looks as if it's fresh out of vault. Wait, that's not where you're from, is it? A vault? Not really, no. They had us cryogenically frozen in these pods. But something malfunctioned. I woke up at one point. Some people... killed my husband and kidnapped my son. I'm trying to find him. Oh, I'm so sorry. I know what that's... Well, I know something like that ain't easy. You might be surprised how common that kind of thing is out here. I mean, not the frozen in a vault part, but... I'm sorry, I'm rambling. I don't mean to pick at fresh wounds. But what you said about being frozen, are you telling me you're pre-war? Before the bombs? So obviously, uh, Sim Settlements to the quest line, <coughs> excuse me, voice prompts are not set up for uh, the Start Me Up version that I'm using, so they're built around the vanilla game. But that's okay. We're just lying. That's right. I was in cryosleep until recently. Whoa. That's... Well, that's amazing. You really are like most people. Then... If you don't mind my asking, 
Why is a vault dweller from the past bothering with settlements and ASAPs? I want to help people. That's an admirable goal. I can respect that. And from what I've seen so far, you're the kind who's more than willing to put actions to those kind of words. Well, guess that explains why you're so serious about the settlement stuff. Now, uh, a word for several. Hey. <laughs> Raiders! Hurry! Take it easy. It'll be all right. Just tell me what happened. Back at the settlement! A whole bunch of them! They've taken hostages, please! You gotta hurry! Damn raiders are like rad roaches. Crush one and five more crawl out. Well, don't you worry, darling. I got your back. You helped me with my raider problem. Only right I help you with yours. All right, let's go. Right you are. Come on, get the lid out and move before somebody gets killed. All right, so we're just basically going south of uh, Abernathy Farm, which I haven't unlocked yet because we'll actually be going there with part of this quest line. Step closer and I shoot. Easy. I just want to talk. Talk? Talk? I'm here to do more than talk. Look, I'm sure we can work this out. No one has to die. You wasted a whole bunch of us at Concord. So now, you're going to watch some of your people die. Could a hundred caps change your mind? That's not much, but it'll do. All right, boys, I think they've learned their lesson. Well worth the price of not having to recruit two more settlers. Hi. Not the way I would have done it, but at least it's over now. Say, uh, before we came here, I wanted to ask you something. This maybe isn't the most appropriate time or venue for a chit-chat, but have you got a minute? Why? What's this all about? Well, this may seem abrupt, but the Commonwealth. By now, I'm sure you've experienced enough to form an opinion about it, so tell me. What do you think of it all? It's a wasteland. People are barely surviving up there. Exactly. It's been over 200 years since the world ended, and folks are still picking up the pieces. It's a real mess out here. People living in dirt, barely enough food or clean water, random attacks from raiders, pharaohs, or God forbid, since. But here's the thing. It doesn't have to be that way. It just might be possible to bring back a measure of the civilization to the wastes, like what you used to have. What was that about synths? If you've never seen one, count yourself lucky. They're kind of like robots, built by the Institute, but more human. Well, some of them. If you ever come across any, be ready for a hell of a fight. Or a hell of a run. Preferably in the opposite direction. But enough about that. Right now, I'm more concerned about rebuilding the wastes. You've already seen firsthand what ASAMs can do. And you've shown interest in what more you can get out of them. 
What if I were to tell you we've only scratched the surface? And maybe, if you're willing, we could perhaps do more than you ever imagined. I've got plans, but I feel they'd go a whole lot smoother if I had a reliable partner to ride shotgun. So, what I propose is a partnership. You and me, working together to try and rebuild the Commonwealth. What do you say? What exactly do I have to do? I need someone I can trust. Someone who'd be willing to go to bat for me. But mostly, I just need you to keep on doing what you've already been doing. Building up settlements and kicking ass. From what I've seen so far, you more than fit the bill on the kind of partner I need. So I get to shoot and do all the work while, you know, he sits back. All right, I'm in. <laughs> Hell yeah! You are not gonna regret this! I suppose a proper introduction is in order. Name's Jake. Jake Evans. And it's a pleasure to be working with you. And finally we have a name for him. So, what now? All right. With the formalities out of the way, let me answer a query of yours. Earlier, you showed an interest in getting more out of ASAMs. Now, if that's something you really are serious about, then I know where to find the equipment we'd need. However, there is a small problem. Let me guess. Raiders again? <laughs> Sharp as a tack. You're right, of course. It's our old friend, Raiders. The place with the ASAM equipment has been claimed by a Raider gang. Really dug their heels in. And they're not open to doing trade. Raiders. There's no worse scum in the Commonwealth. But I reckon together we could break into the little base and grab what we need. However, we would be in for a tough fight. So, you think you'd be up for that? Taking on a Raider stronghold? Hold on, I have some questions first. Of course. What do you want to know? What exactly are we looking for? Well, I'm not entirely certain. <laughs> That's not exactly a reassuring answer, is it? For a while now, I've been looking for this particular piece of tech. I don't know what it's called, but I think I know what it's meant to do. And if we get it, it should help us do more with the ASAMs. Tell me more. All right. Um, how do I explain this? Okay, so right now, we got ASAMs, right? And for the most part, they work just fine. However, for them to function even better, they need to be connected to another machine. Some kind of computer, I think. And without this computer, we can't unlock the ASAMs' higher functions. So that's what we're looking for. This computer thing. If we can find it, I think we can make the sensors do a lot more. Tell me about my role in this. Well, I hate to be cliche, but you'd be the extra muscle. I wish we could just waltz in there and ask for what we want, but that's not really an option. Any idea how many raiders we're talking about? Um, I'm not too sure of exact numbers. A handful at least. Ten, maybe twenty. So, best we be prepared. Nothing else. All right, then. So, think you could tackle some mean old raiders on their home turf? Don't worry. I'll help you deal with these raiders. Well, all right. Now, this equipment we're after was delivered from Concord Hardware to an old Air Force satellite station called Olivia. So that's where we'll be heading. But before we go there, I might want to make a pit stop or two. I understand a nearby farm has had recent dealings with this particular group of raiders. It might be worthwhile asking them about it, see if we can't get more up-to-date intel. Also, I've got a small cache of gear hidden nearby Olivia. It's probably still there. Would be useful for a little venture. I'll mark your pit for it without points of interest, but it's up to you what we do. I'm handing over the reins. So the local farmers is just north of here as it is, so we're going to pick that up. Uh, then we'll have the uh, Abernathy Farm. So it's tied into the Abernathy Farm quest nicely. Uh, and then we will proceed to the satellites station Olivia and get the cache of equipment. So we'll pick up just outside Thicket Excavations when we will recover the cache and I will have already talked to the Abernathys. Well, we made it to 
the quarry here, Thicket Excavations. Unfortunately, it was overrun by raiders, so we had to stop real quick and deal with them. Uh, so that got us an extra level here. So we're going to go ahead and take our first local leader. So this is now letting us know we can do communications and salvage beacons. And that's important for getting extra salvage for our workshops. So we're just going to run up here real quick. And we are going to grab the equipment cache that our new buddy has left us. Important thing is to keep off the road to the left as you come up here. If you're on the road, I found that it triggered reaching uh, the Olivia station first, and that overrides picking up the catch as it is optional. So if you come up this way, just come around to the left like this and you'll be fine. Hold on, we're near the cache. Just give me a second here. I hid this stuff a while back when I first checked out the area. Aha! Looks like it's all still here. How do you like the headwear? Pretty cunning, don't you think? You look absolutely fabulous. Well, I know it's a flattering color, but fabulous? Kind of feel bad with what you're stuck with now. Here, this is for you. So, a little bit of gear. And now we will head over to Olivia. Wait up! I'm gonna hold back, scout the area for Nasty. I'll let you deal with the raiders directly outside Olivia. Once you're done taking out the trash, I'll meet you at station's entrance. I can handle these raiders on my own. All right, let's get to it. around the perimeter, but I took care of them. Shouldn't have to worry about anyone raising the alarm. At least, not right now. Say, before we head in, would you care for a bit of advice? Sure. What's up? This particular raider group packs a little more artillery than the usual riffraff. And that includes some nasty big miniguns. Just remember, miniguns need a few seconds to warm up before they start firing, so make sure you use that to your advantage. And make sure you get your ass behind some damn cover. You can't get hit by what can't see you. How do you know? Well, the equipment that we're here for ain't my first time coming here for it. A few weeks ago, I tried sneaking into this place. And after being treated to a beating, I was sent on my way by a hail of minigun fire. Now I'm just lucky those things ain't precise at long range. Thanks. I always appreciate good advice. Come on, let's head on in. So a little advice, as it were. What all this does? Where in luck? Air Force kept a log of inventory. 
And it mentions a delivery from Concord right here. From Concord Hardware, delivery by Boston Direct, courtesy of sender K.S. Magnuson, item one, industrial size, Robco Com Hub unit. Com Hub. That must be the ACM equipment we're here for. And I think it's stored behind that door up ahead, which is locked. Huh. Looks like it was recently tampered with. There's an extra level of security. Now I reckon I could get through it, though. Just give me a few minutes. In the meantime, I'd appreciate if you take care of any raiders around. I don't like the idea of someone sneaking up on us while I work on this. All right, so back to work clearing some raiders, and of course, looting everything in sight. Mighty impressive. Thanks for the help. I was not enjoying the shootout developing there. No thanks necessary. Oh, dang it. Dented my helmet. Oh, well, better than a bullet to the brain box. All right, let's get down to business. interrupted as I was finishing up. Just need to hit the last few keys on the terminal and... Hey, presto! <laughs> there we are. Let's take a peek inside, shall we? Help yourself to anything that takes your fancy. 
Only one thing I'm interested in, and I think it's right over here. Nice. Doesn't look like anybody's been in here. <laughs> well, for a long well, time. well. Do we have here? Huh. Would you look at that? Interesting. Very interesting. What is it? Hmm? Oh, right. Take a look. Ship the label reads from Concord Hardware. This is definitely the equipment we're here for. No mistake there. This is the ACM comm hub. As best as I understand it, this thing connects to the sensors somehow, allowing them to do more stuff. Sounds complicated. But I wouldn't really know how it does that until I turn it on. Although looking at it, it doesn't look like time's been too kind to this old gal. I'm already seeing a fair number of damaged components. I wonder if it'll still be able to run. Looks like junk to me. Looks can be deceiving, but you're right. Doesn't take an expert to tell this thing's seen better days. Chances are a lot of its parts will be dead. I'll know more once I get it back to the hardware store. Well, I'd say we're done here. We found what we came for. No reason to stick around. You were a big help. There's no way I could have done this by myself. Can you explain how this thing is actually gonna work? Well, like I said, I won't really know until I can turn it on. I'm fairly familiar with ASAMs, but this is a new piece of technology for me. It's probably going to take a while to figure it out. It was a cakewalk. No problem at all. <laughs> I'd hate to see what you consider difficult. See, if you've not already done so, now might be a good time to get your bearings. I still can't imagine how overwhelming all this must be for you. Maybe check in on any settlements you've got going. Or if you think you might need more sensors, there may be some not too far from here. A place called West Everett Estates. But I should warn you, the area is overrun with super mutants. Might be a challenge for you, even after this. What's a super mutant? Well, they're big, they're green, and tend to be pretty mean. No one seems to know where they come from. Maybe you wouldn't want to know even if you did. Generally speaking, they're best steered clear of. I might be able to do that. Well, if you do decide to go, take care. I'll contact you once I've looked over the comm hub. Hopefully by then I should have some idea of how it works. Until then, stay safe out there, all right? Oh, and again, great work today. All right, so time to take his advice, check in on the settlement, and then head off to West Everett Estates. Now, how in the nine circles am I gonna get this thing back? If you got a minute, would you mind checking on my old buddy Amos? He lives in a shack not far from here, and I haven't heard from him in a spell. I'm starting to worry if something has happened to the old coop. So this is the checking in that he was intimating we should do. Sure thing. Much obliged. Here's where you can find it. So, pick up a little side quest to do real quick. Okay, let's see what's behind this door. Oh, we got a cute little puppy.
What's wrong, huh? You hurt? Nuka Cola. Interesting name. All right, let's go. All right, so let's head back to camp. in a bad way I'm sorry he's dead dang I kept telling him those raiders were camped too close for comfort hey there, Fred. Fred uh, Clark. Uh, I'm well, in. well let's have a look at our little lady here minute, minute. easy there little lady easy girl <laughs> gracious what did they do to you I know you've got other things to worry about. She's hurt pretty bad, but I can help her through this. Please, leave her with me. Before you go, though, if you happen to have or find some dog food or fresh meat, I know little Cola here would appreciate it. Yeah, so apparently uh, King Gath, the creator of the mod, and some other people have uh, French Bulldogs, so they introduced these. <laughs> Pretty cute. I'm running low on food for little cold. Could really... If there's anything I can do, let me know. Let's not... go ahead and get some dog food. I'm not afraid of a little work. You know what I call it. Hi. I'm running low on food for little Cola. Could really use anything you have to spare. Sure. Here you go. Oh, much obliged, much obliged. This'll do nicely. Say thank you, little Cola. Let's trade some things. What can I do you All for? All right, so that was a little mini quest there, nice and cute. And now we will move on to uh, Super Mutants. Alright, here we are at Westover Estates. So, let's go ahead and see if we can't find ourselves some ASAM sensors in amongst all of these Super Mutants. What's a super mutant? Super mutant fact! Better than humans! That sound, what is it? Go away, bleeder! Quiet, Hammer! I talk for us! Each super mutant land human! Sickle each super mutant here! Why you come? Speak! Just looking for something. What looking for? What do you know about this device? Oh, now, little pig! Sneaky human wants a time blinky! No! Special thing! Bring a flock! Human can no have! What if I made it worth your while? You want a time blinky! You trade, human! You do work for Tickle, maybe give you some! What do you need me to do exactly? Hammer's brother, Nail, run away, 
coward! Nobody runs away from Sickle's pride! You go find him! Send him back to face me! Yes! Go find brother of Hammer! Tell him come back! He leave no! Sickle can't read back Scribble! Take it! Nail make bear friend by Big Car. Okay. All right, so. Looks like we gotta go out past the junkyard. So we'll just fast travel over there. Oh dear, it would appear the bear was not as friendly as Nail thought it no was. Point in leaving that for the scavengers. Hey. Offload some of this. What do you need? Apparently this is the bear he was playing with. Alright, so let's head back to report. So, I didn't go far enough in to tag that place, but there's a ton of super mutants in, so if I had, it would have been a lot more of fighting. I found his body. He's dead. I'm a not be happy. Asa, maybe not lucky. Human can take. I'm a nail dead. Brother! No! Nail was stupid. Hammer is stupid. Sickle not surprised. What you say? Nail weak. Stupid like Hammer. You killed my brother! So here we have some super mutant interpersonal problems. That's not saying much, buddy. Okay. Care to elaborate? Human have tiny bodies, but human have super mutant hearts. Human welcome here. Want more A Sam Blinky? You come forth with sickle again, human. All right, so it's a box of ASAMs, that's 20. So more than enough for us to head back and uh, take care of things at our other settlements. So we're gonna go ahead and head back to our settlements and see where we pick up from there. All right.
Despite having returned back to the Red Rocket, we received a notification to yeah. tune in to Jake's channel. So we have Jake's private frequency. up on anything. So let's head into Concord and see what Jake needs. Jake, let's see what you know. Hey. Howdy, darling. Good to see you again. How are you doing? Gotta say, I'm doing pretty good. As you can see by the crate, I managed to get the comm hub back. Although it wasn't easy, let me tell you. I've got the hub inside if you'd like to see it. I don't see why not. All right. Ain't she a beaut? Although sadly not ready for service just yet. In fact, I couldn't even turn it on. But I have been able to give the old gal a good going over. Got a rough understanding of the hardware. You've got my attention. Well, judging by the internals, this thing mostly appears to be a giant processor. My guess is that it operates as a kind of ASAM switchboard, connecting and communicating with the sensors. Which makes sense, really. I mean, it is called the comm hub. Now, if we could get sensors connected and communicating, that really would open up our options. Let us do some cool things. What do you mean by that? Well, for example, remote management, mass software updates, division of settlement labor, and the obvious one, better communications. Now, to you, that last thing may not sound like much, but trust me, better communications is something we want. So I think it's in our best interest to get this comm hub running. Really begin to rebuild the Commonwealth. We might be onto something. Give me the details. You gotta understand, things aren't like what they were in your time. In the Commonwealth these days, reliable intercommunication really doesn't exist. It's held a lot of things back, including settlements. The better the communication we can get within and between our settlements, the better it will be for everyone. I'm on board. When do we start? In order to get things going, first, we need to turn this thing on. And for that, we're gonna need some serious power. And I'm afraid my little generator just ain't gonna cut it. However, as luck would have it, just a couple of feet below us is all the power we could need. Where? Concord has a municipal plutonium well. Probably used to power every building in town. If we get some real power flowing again, all you need to do is turn it on. That is, if you wouldn't mind helping out. I'm on it. It's as good as done. <laughs> I knew you'd help. You'll have to discover a way into the old service tunnels running under Concord. Once you're down there, find something that looks like a big old generator. Do what you need to start it up, then head on back. All right, and I have not gone into the Concord uh, underground just yet, so we're going to head down clear it out and see what we find.
it. All right, so here we are at this new section of the Civic, this maintenance area. Let's see what we find. Alright, so we have found what looks to be a power plant. Let's see here. Lenny, just what the hell are you playing at? Why am I still receiving complaints about repeated prolonged blackouts? Is it so hard to hit the giant red button? If the power ever goes out, just hit the button and restart the reactor. I don't know how I can make it any easier for you to do your job. Lenny, why? Why do you do this to me? Please, if the power goes down, just hit the red button. You do realize Concord's early warning system won't work without power, right? And that you, Lenny, live in Concord. If the bombs do fall, you'll never even know. Not if you don't hit that damn button when the reactor stalls. Just hit the damn button. Please, Lenny. Just hit the button. It's no castle, but Concord just right. Be the right place to start rebuilding the Minutemen. Even managed to get power back online for the whole town. The reactor just needed a helping jolt of electricity to start humming again. I hooked up a gas generator to help kickstart the reactor, just in case it goes down again. And if the gas generator stops working, then I don't know. Kick it? Oh, and hit that big red button. I keep forgetting that part. So apparently it's not easy for everyone to remember to hit the red button. So let's see what happens if we hit it right now. So nothing. And we already know what we have to do. Let's go over here. More goodies. So apparently the Minutemen found their way down here and ran afoul of the raiders. We found a Minuteman corpse a little earlier. Alright, so we kicked that to get it started. Alright. And now we just need to go back to Jake after we finish looting everything. All right, let's see what Jake has to say. You should have all the power you need now. Yeah, I noticed. When the power came back, it brought half the bulbs in here. It's gonna be a pain in the ass to replace those. But the important thing is, we now have power. Will it be enough? I don't know. Let's go find out. All right then, let's try powering this thing up. Now let's see here.
Okay, um, connect this there, load that, let's bypass this. I think we're ready to give this a go. Uh, best if you stand back. Oof. <laughs> okay, <coughs> that didn't exactly <coughs> go to plan. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <coughs> <coughs> to be honest, I was kind of worried this might happen. I've been sitting around the news for so long. And so many of its parts have degraded. Seems even with enough power, there's no getting around blowing out capacitors and parish semiconductors. <coughs> Still, it's worth a try. I'm sure we can work this out. Give me a day or two. Maybe I could swap out some of the busted parts, clean a few tubes. It might be enough. I know it may not seem like it, but this was a step forward. And you're okay? Sure. <coughs> I'm fine. <coughs> okay, if we want to start rebuilding the Commonwealth, I better get to work. Thanks for your help today. I'll put out a radio message again when I've got news. Take care out there. All right, so we're going to wait around for his next radio message, check on our encampments, and we will end episode two here. Thank you all for watching.